All right, so thank you all for submitting the entries for the Subscriber's Choice game. I'm excited for it. These are some three really good options here. Um, we have Iron Man in Protection versus Ronin, Domino Justice, or just good old Nebula. So we have one, two, three, and I have a die here. So we're gonna roll and we'll choose on one or, one or two Iron Man, three or four Domino, five or six Nebula. So one, two, three, four, five, six from the roll of the die. So let's see what it is that we're gonna play. Four, so one, two, three, four. So we are gonna be playing Domino Justice and I will go and build a deck for that and get back to you. All right, so let's get started here. We are going to shuffle up our encounter deck and we are going to shuffle up our player deck here. And then I need to actually do the front side of the Crimson Cow here or whichever you would call it. So on the back, front, whatever, um, we need to put the Ultron drones environment into play which it is, and then shuffle the encounter deck. We already did all that, advance to stage 1B. When we do that, each player puts the top card of their deck into play face down as a drone minion, and that is fine. So we can get started here. Um, in Domino already, whoops, so we wanna turn to Nina Thurman here. And so we're gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, and six. Wow, okay, so. This is definitely interesting. Um, hanging on jackpot, that's for sure. Um, Diamondback could be a cheap ally for us. Right place, right time, we don't need. A good workout, we're not too worried about. Float like a butterfly cipher. We're gonna get rid of these and see what else we can get. And yeah, see how that works for us. So we're gonna draw <laughs> one, two, three, Four more cards, oh my goodness. Okay, so we have two Digging Deeps, a Painted Lady Surveillance Team. This is pretty gross. So let's see, we could choose a card in our hand, swap that card with the top card of our discard pile. We're not too interested in doing that. Um, I mean, maybe, because let's see, what else are we doing here? Painted Lady, yeah, we, hard to say, so, I was just trying to think if Cypher would end up getting down anyway. I'm going to do that. Might as well. So for this limit once per round, I'm at least going to get Cypher back um, to get rid of one of these digging deeps. And then that works because at the end of the day, maybe we'll be able to play him and Diamond back. So we're going to flip up to Domino. And with this, though, we are going to um, ideally see what we can get when this time we're going to limit once per round, choose a card in our hand, this digging deep, and I'm gonna swap that with the top card of the deck, which is a concussive blow. Okay, um, alrighty, let's see, what can we do here? We wanna get down Diamondback and a Painted Lady and potentially Cypher. Um, I'm not too worried about Surveillance Team right now. Um, I have this face up just because I know it's there, but I like no, when I already know a card, just having that information available. I'll flip it down for now though, just so it's out of my view. We will, let's see, um, I could concussive blow with a jackpot. It feels like a waste of the jackpot though. Let's get a diamond back down. Um, that I guess that's not too bad. Um, Concussive blow, get a diamond back down, hang on to Pain and Lady. Um, no, nope, we'll get to play Pain and Lady with the Digging Deep. Sweet, okay, so we're gonna do that. Um, we are going to use this Concussive Blow. We're gonna confuse an enemy and we're paying it with their jackpot. So Ultron's gonna be confused. And then we paid this with, we did use a um, Fist resource here, so we're dealing three damage. Alrighty, and then just in case, I'll keep the jackpot on top here. Um, and that is going to deal three damage, so he's down to 19 health. And what else do we do? So now we can use Surveillance Team and Cypher to play Diamondback. And then what she can do is exhaust 
and we're going to deal one damage to her and then we're going to discard the top card of her deck and we're going to deal one damage to each enemy for each resource icon discarded this way which is a wild so we count two um, and digging deep comes back into our hand so we're going to deal two and two so he goes down to 17 and our drone goes away which was hope summers and then with our digging deep we can play the painted lady and that feels good okay so we also get our activation so we will simply attack for two and bring him down to 15. all right so turn one feels good that was i i like it so we're gonna ready up i don't know if we'll see the screen here i'll have to watch out for the space i, I didn't leave too much with the video so we'll see um we're gonna draw up and two five cards so one two three four and five wow okay pretty crazy so we have our under surveillance which is going to be awesome um go over here we give one onto the crimson cow and then ultron is going to go and attack when he attacks we put our um, top card of our deck as a drone minion and then what else will he get to do so i'm trying to decide diamondback or to just defend diamondback will take out drone minions so that kind of kills two birds with one stone so i think we'll just defend this attack and see how it goes um so we are going to choose to defend and he's attacking for three plus a boost so he's attacking for three um plus zero sweet so we take no damage from that and then he gets his encounter card and the uh, drone here is going to attack us for one, so we're down to eight health. Now he gets his, his encounter card, which is Repair Sequence. Ultron heals two damage for each drone minion engaged with you. Cool. So that's <laughs> that's really fortunate. Um, he just gains two health, so he goes up to 17. And we're liking that. So what can we do? Um, we could, I think the move here, he's already confused, is to probably play our Probability Field and our Under Surveillance. That seems like a great idea. Um, I would want to keep a Painted Lady, or sorry, an Upside the Head for the Painted Lady so we can get it back next turn and confuse him again. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and this should be off of her. We're going to switch. When do I have to do that? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch um, Upside the Head with lucky break so that's pretty cool i'm just going to leave upside the head like that um, this is an upgrade i think we'll be able to use this um, when you reveal ah this would be cool to play but i really want to play a probability field so i'm going to go ahead and play that probability field and now i'm going to use this to play an under surveillance or i can hold on to that because i might be able to get um no, oh, forget it. I'm just going to use the under surveillance. Now we're just going to have it here. And so what can we do? I can use Diamondback and ping one and one. That feels fine. So Diamondback, um, she's going to go away after this. I'm going to exhaust her. And then we're going to deal one damage because we're going to discard a card. It's upside the head. When this gets discarded, the Painted Lady is going to hold on to it. And then... Um, it should be it's supposed to be upside down too which i just i don't really get i don't understand but um that's fine so diamondback goes away after pinging one damage onto um ultron and one damage to our drone which was luck be a lady okay and then now we will flip down da -da -da. I think we did we oh we defended last turn that's why we are not um readied so we can't use a probability field anyway all right diamondback goes away from attacking that also feels good so we're gonna come here ready everyone up here and then draw up to six cards we have one two three four five and six all righty so Wow, cool hand here. Not a ton of resources, but 
lots of things that we would want. Mansion, lucky and good, sharpshooter. Anyway, so with that, we can go over to the main here. One is going to go on. So now instead of three, we have a cushion of seven here, which feels good. Um, he's going to scheme, but he's confused. And then we get our encounter card. And so with that, he is going to get a program transmitter. So he, we're going to attach this to Ultron. After Ultron schemes, place one threat on each side scheme. And he gets plus one scheme. That's not too bad because we are essentially trying to not let him scheme anyway with this deck. So that's A-OK. -okay. So it comes over to our turn. We can exhaust the Painted Lady and then add one card here and attach it to her hand, which is going to be the upside the head. So that feels great there. Um, what else can we do? So I'm trying to think what all we would want to do. I like Monica Chang just because we get to do some control of the threat here, but I don't know if that would be the best move. One, two, Sharpshooter is really good three and we can probably hang on to it actually if we do this okay uh i don't hate that um so yeah let's let's see do i want to swap diamond back back into my hand actually instead of monica chang hmm that's an option too and then no i, I kind of like the thought of getting surveillance team out just to keep the um, the scheme lower. Probably not the best idea as well, but we're gonna flip up. Painted Lady's exhausted. And let's see, so we do wanna use three. We'll use Concussive Blow, a good workout in Avengers Mansion to play Monica Chang. We'll see how we do here. Um, when she comes out, we need to go get a copy of surveillance team. So we'll look in to our deck here. And um, we may have already seen it. Did we already see surveillance team? Yeah, we must have already seen surveillance team. So we'll shuffle this up. And then we're gonna go and look up that surveillance team. We can get, there it is, surveillance team. So Monica Chang comes in. We get surveillance team, comes into play with or the card comes in with three, but she gives one extra, so it's coming in with four snoop counters. We are just gonna put three and exhaust it and take one away from the Crimson Cow. And then, let's see, we can discard cards, do all that kind of stuff, but what do we, would I rather hang on to Luckier and Good or Sharpshooter? I'd probably rather hang on to Sharpshooter, so I will, because it, it will help when we get our pistols, but we don't have our pistols yet. But they're definitely still in there, so it's coming soon. Let's see, oh man, what would I wanna do? So lucky and good. If I'm gonna be using lucky and good as a resource anyway, I might as well swap it so then we can count it as a double. So I'm gonna swap lucky and good with Agent Coulson, and that's fine, and then Instead of that, we can, yeah, I'll for sure hang on to Sharpshooter then. I'm going to attack and use Upside the Head. So I'm going to, attacking him for two. And when I do that, we can use Probability Field. Um, and oh, you don't even have to exhaust Probability Field. When I use a basic power, discard the top card of my deck. It is a wild. Um, I get plus one to that power for each resource. So that's plus two. So we're attacking him for four, down to 12. And then now with Domino, we can use Agent Coulson to play upside the head. And after our hero makes a basic attack and damages an enemy, confuse that enemy. So now Ultron is confused. Um, I did use, yeah, my ability to switch. Um, and I guess I could technically hang on to Lucky and Good. Yeah, I might. I'll put that under the Painted Lady um, just since. 
we might as well, because we'll flip down next turn um, and see what we end up getting to keep. So, okay, that works out. I think that's all we can do. Monica Chang can thwart the remaining one here, and we're feeling good about that. She takes a damage, and then she's gonna valiantly take a hit for us. Um, so everyone's gonna ready. And let's see what we got here. So we're gonna hang on to sharpshooter and draw up to five. So we have one, two, three, and four more cards. Domino's pistol is great to see. Um, so we'll probably end up using that with sharpshooter anyway. Unfortunate. So what we're gonna do is go over to Ultron here. One goes on to the Crimson Cow. The main, he goes to attack us and Monica Chang is gonna step in the way. So he's attacked. When he does that, we put down a card. Um, attacking for two, three. Okay, so I just got a phone call which stopped my recording and then <laughs> Part of my recording equipment just crumbled into a million little plastic pieces, and that was um, a crazy chain of events. So we were <laughs> we were in the middle of getting attacked by Ultron. Monica Chang was taking it. She took um, a five attack, goes away. Okay, um, where did I put my hand? Up here. Um, we did take the one damage, did we? I don't know, I'll go down to seven health um, because I think this is now the second time we'd be taking an attack from a drone. I think that's right. Um, and then we get our encounter card. I think, I think that's everything. So encounter card is Android efficiency. Each player puts the top card of their deck into play face down as a drone minion. That's all right, we're okay with that. So we get another drone and then, so now, what can we do? He's still confused, um, so we'll get, we're safe to flip down. We, let's see, what can we do, what can we do? The posse isn't gonna be coming in handy for sure, but it is a wild, so we can at least um, use our uh, action here to choose a card in our hand, swap that card with the top card of our deck. So we get Outlaw, which is okay. And then the posse goes in and we have to decide here what we would want to do. Uh, definitely want to get down Domino's pistol. We're hanging on to upside the head and using that for sure. And then <laughs> I could, I guess hang on to um, sharpshooter for even longer. I don't hate that since we'll have the pistol. Wait, no, we'll have to use it to play upside the head. That's fine. We are okay with that i think um unless we wanted to flip down and get the card we have under the painted lady and use something else to play upside the head and just not use dominus pistol but we do want to use dominus pistol to get rid of at least one of these sorry for all the um out loud thinking here um and we will use sharpshooter and outlaw to play dominus pistol we got to get that down for sure um put it on now we'll put it here and we will I'm gonna check if surveillance team is still on the screen okay I wanted to check if surveillance team was still on the screen we got plenty of room over there so we got our pistol down um, I can use upside the head here and attack Ultron be oh wait what am I thinking he's already confused so we can stun him with upside the head. Yes, or was he confused previously? How did we confuse him prior to this? I'm sorry for doing this. Okay, I must've used this upside the head and then drew into another one. Okay, I was just making sure that uh, the whole thing that just happened threw me off a bit. So we might as well continue to use upside the head to, um, now we can stun Ultron. That works fine for me. Um, we're going to pay our double yellow to use upside the head. Before we do that, I guess we have to wait. 
because we are going to attack him. Da, da, da. We're going to attack him for two, and then we're going to use probability field, which is going to add two. And so he's getting hit for four. He goes down to eight health. Okay, so he's down to eight. Um, we don't want to hold on to the posse, that's fine. And now, after we do that, we can play upside the head. And after our hero makes a basic attack and damages an enemy, we can confuse that enemy. If he's already confused, stun it instead. So now he is confused and stunned. So that is huge for us. And then we can also use Domino's pistol. And we can use Domino's pistol to deal one damage. Uh, we're gonna discard the top card of our deck and it's another upside the head which we'll put under our um, painted lady here because um, we have our lucky and good and I don't know I, I hate keeping these face down we have our lucky and good and our upside the head um, so we'll keep those there under painted lady which is good for us and then that's just going to deal one damage to him and go down to seven or Sorry, we're not attacking Ultron with that. We were attacking um, one of the drones here. Ah, okay, we're gonna get our other pistol back, which is okay. It's at the top of our discard pile. And now we will use a surveillance team to take down another one of these. And then um, we're gonna flip down so we're flipping down, and then we can't choose a card in our hand. Um, this is going to stay on our discard pile, so we're okay with that. I want to get back Dominus Pistol. I was considering if I want to use Painted Lady to do that, but I don't. So we will draw our six cards. We're going to draw into an X Gene. Symbiote Suit, Spycraft, Pip the Pug, a Digging Deep, and our last card here is going to be Right Place, Right Time, and that is going to deck us out. Yes, and so we're getting an extra encounter card this turn. That's okay. Oh no, we're shuffling everything up. Um, I guess having, having known that, that I was going to shuffle... I would have used my Painted Lady to grab luck, Lucky and Good and then use my action to swap that card. No. You know what? Is what it is. Um, we're just going to shuffle it back in. I, did, I played that poorly. That's on me. Because um, then I would have just drew five cards and not have decked out. But um, that is on me so should have played that better we'll live with it and now we're going to ready everyone up and then should have thought ahead about that looked at my cards in my hand that's a good good thing to remember look how many cards you have left that you're about to draw and so we're going to go over to ultron we put one on there he goes to scheme but he's confused um, the drone schemes for one, and then we get two encounter cards. First encounter card is upgraded drones. Okay, so definitely hate to see this. Um, attached to the Ultron drones environment. That's attached over here. Each face down drone gains plus one attack and plus one hit point. So that's pretty brutal, um, and we have to spend one of each resource to discard this card. Yeah, we definitely don't like the two health for these minions here. And then we will get an evil alliance. Okay, so each nemesis minion play activates against us. If no minions, place three counters on Pursued by the Past. So right, just like that, Pursued by the Past has three counters on it, and so our... Nemesis is probably coming out, uh, who I think is Topaz, which that's fine. Okay, so it comes back to us. Um, we uh, have all kinds of things we could do here. Um, 
One thing we can do for sure is we can exhaust Painted Lady to get an upside the head. And so that gives us a chance to um, confuse Ultron. And now that's fine. Dig Pip the Pug could potentially get a domino or pos a domino or posse card. So I could use ah. Um, probably, yeah, I don't hate that. So I'm going to, just to get this down, I can use a right place, right time to play a Pip the Pug. Pip the Pug, we'll just put under Painted Lady um, to try to conserve some space here. And then we can use Pip the Pug to exhaust him and put one domino or posse card from our discard pile on top of our deck. So we know right place, right time is up here. So with that, we can now flip up. Yes, um, we're gonna flip up. And what that lets us do is come to Domino. We can take a look. This is where Domino has all kinds of options. Um, so I know I have my double here, which is great because I can use my pistols to discard right place, right time. And then that is going to um, uh, do two damage against our white fox here. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, I was trying to think. Painted Lady is just after you discard from the top of your deck. That's unfortunate. Um, I would have loved to get White Fox back to her hand somehow. I don't think we can though. So um, what else can we do? We can switch the choose a card in her hand and swap that with the top card of her deck. So we'll put the Digging Deep back to the top here and we're gonna get an Agent Coulson, which that is pretty cool. Um, so I can get him down and then use the Spycraft to pay for upside the head, which I think I'm going to do. That sounds good to me. So uh, I'm going to use X-Gene, Symbiote Suit, and Spycraft to play Coulson. When he comes in, I get to get my preparation card and add it to my hand. Um, oh, I'm going to have to shuffle my deck. Um, Yeah, oh well. Um, I would have liked to get the Digging Deep back in my hand, but Coulson, it says shuffle your deck. We didn't look into it. We didn't, we'll shuffle it. Um, so we didn't actually look into our deck to grab the preparation card, but his card says to shuffle. I don't know what the rules are there, honestly. So either way, it doesn't hinder what we're trying to do all that much at all. So we're going to attack him with our basic attack. When we do that, we can play our probability field. Um, and we can discard the top of our deck, which is going to be a um, wild, which is awesome. So we add two, so he's taking another four. And he's going to go down to four health. And then now we can play upside the head and confuse him because we damaged him. So now he's stunned and confused again. And then what else can we do? Carlson can thwart for two to keep this down and then he's going to take a damage okay so we we are cruising here which that feels good i think actually um i'm gonna take my power of justice when it came in here and then i'm gonna put it under the painted lady so we have that um lucky and good and power of justice i just like having cards on there as the option so i'm now going to ready everything up, hopefully get our second pistol so we can really start cruising here. And then now we can go over to, we can draw our hand size of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Cool. So we drew our second pistol and the sharpshooter and our outlaw and diamondback. That's pretty crazy there. Um, so what can we do here? We will go over to Ultron. 
He's going to go to it. Uh, we're going to put one on Kim Crimson Kyle. Goes to attack, but he's stunned. And so that's fine. And then we get our encounter card, which is going to be under attack. Okay, so when revealed, we um, will put calls in here and under attack here. Comes in with three. When revealed, each player chooses to either place two threat here or deal three damage to their hero. Uh, that's fine. This can go up to five um, because we can at least try to deal with that. Um, yeah, I'd be more concerned about the damage, I think. So what can we do here? We will... Ba -ba -ba comes over to us. I know I want my pistol. And then we can use sharpshooter play upside the head to stun him again. Maybe, let's see. Um, interesting, we have some tough choices to make here. Um, I'm gonna try to just, I would love to get my allies down, but I want the pistol. I want to stun him, so tough, but I think we're just, because we're going to end up flipping him anyway this turn, so yeah, we'll try to, we're going to use both Diamondback and, and Outlaw to get our p second pistol down, which is fine, and then I'm going to, let's see, we're going to use Agent Coulson here to thwart two, so this comes down to three, um, Surveillance Team will take one more bring it down to two and then um, they're both exhausted and now we can do some stuff here where I can attack him for my two and then I can use um, my probability field to increase that by two more so we do his exactly four damage so he comes down to zero health that is a-okay um I'm trying to think if i can use how many resources true card in hand yeah so when i do that i think this would still work because right when he flips he's still going to be confused or stunned if he was right so after my hero makes a basic attack and damages an enemy confuse if that enemy is already confused so I think I can still use this upside the head and to stun him um, we took him out I I think that works right because we would flip him he doesn't lose his confuse when he flip when we flip him I think it just stays I think that's fine um, so what we can do he comes he's confused and stunned he gets 27 health now so we have a good amount of health to go with him. Um, each drone minion gets plus one attack and plus one hit point. Oof, so now they have a ton because of the upgraded drones. I should have thought ahead about that. Um, and now when revealed, search the encounter deck and discard card pile for his Ultron's imperative. I don't think we've seen that. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for Ultron's imperative side scheme and reveal it. Ultron's imperative. Um, so what would that be? Invasive AI, drone factory, um, Ultron's imperative. So this is going to come out. When revealed, the first player puts the top two cards of their deck face down as drone minions okay so this is super unfortunate for us so this comes in with two we have no way of getting rid of it unfortunately and so we're going to get an extra encounter card and then two cards come in one oh geez i don't know what we're going to do with the space here two and so these now have how much these now have one two th three hit points which is crazy um 
But I think we got to use our pistols against them. Yeah, so they don't get too overwhelming. And then we really got to hope we draw the cards to get rid of um, the upgraded drones envi environment upgrade. So I'm just going to go ahead and use both of my pistols one and one. So this first one is going to be sweet. Then this comes back into our hand. So we're going to um, do two damage to one of them. So I'm trying to think, would I rather, so that was one of them. Would I rather take out one and leave the other I think that might make sense rather than keeping both of them on here. So yeah, I'll use my other pistol to then attack the second one. Um, and that's gonna deal, it's a mansion, I can stay there. So that's gonna deal the third damage to at least one of these, which is gonna be Cypher. So we still have one minion in play. And then with my Digging Deep, let's see, choose a card in my hand, swap that card with the top card of your deck. Um, am I doing any more discarding? No. But I might as well do this anyway. So we'll put the Digging Deep back. I can look, okay, a Concussive Blow, which, oh, he's still stunned and confused. Okay, so that was a lot of stuff. That's what you get with Ultron plus Domino. You get a lot of stuff. Um, so, yeah, so I can flip down with Domino. She's exhausted, um, but I can do a few things here. I can use my Painted Lady to exhaust and then grab the um, Lucky and Good. And then I can at least use this Concussive Blow to play Lucky and Good. Um, which I'll put under probability field. And so that helps us manipulate boost cards. And um, I can use Pip the Pug if I want to, to put one Domino Posse card to your discard on top of your deck. Yeah, I think I might do that actually. Um, I'll use Pip the Pug to look in our, I'll put Diamond back on top of the deck. That should be fine. Um, Cause I can draw her and we might be able to use her to help get rid of the drones. And so I don't know if that makes the most sense, but we're gonna ready up everything we have here. Da, da, da. And then what we can do, we'll draw our six cards. We know what two of them are. Diamondback, Digging Deep, Jackpot, Sonic Rifle, Concussive Blow, and the posse. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, sweet. So we can use jackpot, honestly, just to, um, yeah, we're definitely gonna use jackpot to get rid of the Ultron drones. So we're gonna go over to here. One is going to go on the main. Ultron goes to scheme, but he's stunned. So let's see. Sorry about that, another distraction just came in. So we were right here. We are going to, um, what are we doing here? He just, he just thwart, went to thwart, but he's confused. We're gonna get our encounter card. Okay, yes. We get two encounter cards because of Ultron's imperative. So two comes out and that is fine. So let's see what we got. We get an advanced Ultron drone. Okay, that is fine. And then we get the Rage of Ultron. Ultra Ego, Ultron Schemes, oh, yuck, so he's gonna scheme. Oh, okay, this is annoying, and then discard the top card of your deck for each threat placed this way. Oh, that's annoying considering White Fox is in our hand. Oh, wait, no, is she? Is White, I don't know where she ended up, going. oh, she's in the deck, so it might end up working. Or no, she's discard pile, sorry, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, so he's scheming. Nothing we can do about that. He's scheming for two plus one. So it's gonna be um, three. So he's scheming for three, four, five, which is, 
Oh, wait, we have... Ugh. Oh, darn it. Lucky and good is a hero interrupt? Ugh, that's lame. Um, two, three, four, five. So he's scheming for the perfect amount. Um, brings him up to five, six, seven to pop this. That's really sad. Um, so this goes away. Assault on Norad goes out. I think under surveillance comes back now. Um, so when revealed, we're going to put the top card of our deck into play with them face down as a minion. So we have three minions over here, our drones, and then we have Assault on Norad. Okay, so that does stuff when we start our next turns. I put Ultron's health down here on accident. We're going to put that back. Um, oof. Uh, so I am starting to get overwhelmed with stuff here. What can we do? Um, I'm going to use Jackpot to... Yeah, so we're going to use Jackpot to get rid of the all, um, upgraded drones environment. And so now they just have the two hit points and two attack, which is okay. And then I'm going to use my ability to choose a card in my hand, which is the posse, and then switch Jackpot back into my hand. Discard pile level once per turn. Okay, sweet. That is fine. Um, we're going to use the Painted Lady to um, get the Power of Justice. We're going to use Pip the Pug. Um, just to put the Posse back up because we know there's now a Wild on the top of our card. Or we know there's a Wild on the top of our discard pile. Um, so we have all kinds of stuff going on right now. Um, we're going to flip up. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to do when he schemes. I think he does something else. After Ultron schemes, place one threat on each side scheme. So, oops. So I got to place a threat each on these. So this goes, both goes back up to three, which is very annoying, um, considering Coulson was about to take this out. Um, so... Diamondback could come in handy. One, two. Okay, I'm trying to think what all we can do. Um, first things first, let's have Agent Coulson port for two and then use our last surveillance team token to then um, get rid of Ultron's Imperative because that is a super annoying card. And then. What else can we do? Under attack is fine. Um, we want to get rid of all three of these. And we have a diamond back, which would come in handy. Um, I think digging deep makes sense actually to put. I'm trying to think. So he has five damage, or five health, I think, because. Wait, each drone minion, I think this is a drone minion, gets plus one attack, plus one hit points. So he has five hit points, one ultra drones defeated in the top cards. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. So I'm trying to think how we can do everything we want here. There's so much, so many options. I'm trying to wipe out all these, also potentially stun him with the sonic rifle or Concussive Blast, and... No, probably Sonic Rifle, but, um... Oh, so many different choices. I think, I know I want to play Diamondback as well. I'm kind of stuck in the, the choice loop here because there's so many things you can do with, um... with Domino, um, but... Diamondback for sure, we want to get down. Oof. Let's see. Digging deep. Use it, plays. Oh, rifle comes out. Yeah, you know what? This is fine. Um, 
I'm not going to try to think too much about stuff, so I think I'm just going to do diamond back here with jackpot. This is this isn't going to be the, the best move, but I'm just overthinking. I'm overpaying for diamond back to get her down onto the field here and then I can get rid of Ultron Drone with Domino. Yes. So I'm going to attack the advanced Ultron Drone. With Domino for... One, two... I know this is going to be four. One, two... Yeah. One, two, three, four, um, which we might as well put the posse under Painted Lady. Um, so we attacked for one, two, three, four because of probability field. That's taking out, no, ad advanced ultra drone has five, so it takes four damage. And then what can we do? We want to ping one more damage off. We're going to go ahead and use a pistol against it. So we're using a pistol against the advanced Ultron drone, which is going to be lucky be a lady, which we will also put down under the painted lady, um, which is fine. And then that's going to take out this drone. And the reason we did that is because when it's defeated, we're going to put the top card of our deck into play face down as a drone minion. And so Top card goes, there we go. Um, so now I want to ensure that I have a digging deep on here. So I'm going to use my action to choose a card in my hand and swap that card with the top card of my deck. Ah, it was a wild anyway, but that's fine. So now we will use diamond back. We're gonna exhaust her, deal a damage to her, discard digging deep, which comes back to our hand it deals two damage now to each enemy that way. So Diamondback comes in as a hero and just pings off all of these. Um, we get these back into our discard pile. And then what else do we get to do? So now that feels good. That we have to do a lot of stuff there. Deal four damage to an enemy. Um, a good workout is cool, but I want to confuse him again, which I might get down a Sonic Rifle so we can get two confuses out. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to use a Power of Justice and Concussive Blow to put down a Sonic Rifle. Um, ooh, we can't do that. Oh, wow. Sorry. So... <laughs> Sonic Rifle and both of our pistols are restricted weapons. I didn't realize that. So Sonic Rifle, not great in this deck, unless I bring along a um, side holster. Wow, good to know. We're finding that out real time. Instead, I guess I'll play a Concussive Blow. Um, I'm going to confuse an enemy. And then we paid with that using um, a wild resource, which we can count as a fist. And so we'll deal three damage. So now he's going down to 24 health. And then um, what can we do? We can use our next pistol to do um, one more damage to him down to 23. Okay, so I'm trying to think what I would want to do. Um, digging deep, a good workout. I might hang on to a good workout just because we're trying to make a push. Um, digging deep, I think I will discard even though I know I can get it back as a resource next turn ah, I'll hang on to digging deep um, and then okay cool so what can we do I think that's everything we can do we can ready everyone up here um, we're doing pretty well as far as slowing down Ultron but I want to do a bunch of damage now, so I'm hoping we can just find some way to deal 20, um, 
three damage this next turn. So we're going to deal, draw three more cards. Mana Kachang, another Digging Deep, and another Digging Deep. Wow, that's not helpful at all. So <laughs> that's terrible. So, okay, we drew all our Digging Deeps. So we're about to um, deck out here. And so we will go over to Ultron. One's going to go on the main, and then we'll let it go up to three, which is okay. Um, because when you put Thread here, you can either get another um, Drone Minion, or you can put two more onto here. We'll let it go up to three. Oh, what a unfortunate hand. So, <laughs> we're gonna, he's going to go to attack, but he's stunned. And then... What can we do? He went to attack, but he's stunned. Um, we now get our encounter card. That's fine. And then, so our, our encounter card is going to be drawing nearer. All right, so we're also gonna have to deal with our um, nemesis over here. After our turn begins, place one pursuit counter on top. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm just trying to think. That's annoying. Okay, so our turn is going to begin. Withdrawing nearer, it's an obligation. After our turn begins, discard the top card of our deck, which is gonna be a lucky break. Um, and place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the pass for each printed resource icon on that card. I wonder if we have to count that twice for drawing nearer. When counting resources on cards, discard from the top of your deck, count each wild twice. So technically, maybe that's two Pursuit Encounters, so this goes up to five. I don't know how that works, but let's see. We're popping Pursuit by the past. After you place a Pursuit Counter here, it's more than three. Remove each counter here. Um, if your Nemesis minion is in play, otherwise flip this over. So our Nemesis minion and side scheme is coming out. Topaz comes out. Um, when revealed, we have to search the encounter deck, discard pile. Okay, so we. How does this? How does the timing of this work? After you find your nemesis minion and reveal it, so she is revealed. Search the encounter deck, and set aside area. Okay, okay, okay. So you have to bring in whatever this is for her. Um, that's fine. So we reveal... Okay. Wow, this is annoying. So we have to go get superpower feedback and attach it to our de identity. Um, after I resolve an ability on my identity specific card, take a damage. Discard one. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, we gotta get rid of that and drawing near. Uh, super annoying. So we wanted to take care of um, Ultron this turn, but we're going to have trouble doing that. Um, we're also going to bring out Not My Lucky Day. Really is not. This comes in with three. When revealed, each player must either take one damage or place two threat here. Uh, we'll just take a damage. Each player must either take one damage, place two threat. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then we are going to shuffle the rest of this stuff. Oh no, my obligation? Oh, I'm sorry y'all, I've been playing this whole game without my obligation. That's unfortunate, but now we have a chance to draw it. Uh, I can't believe I didn't shuffle that in. Um, I just had it with Topaz. So let's see, here we go. Shuffle everything up. Alrighty, so he's still confused. Comes over to us. Um, okay, so we have a lot of annoying things to deal with, and not a lot of stuff to do with it. So we might as well right now at least switch our top card with a Digging Deep um, to use our action here. It's right place, right time. I know I can get, I can use this and Luck be a lady to get rid of our two annoying, th annoying things over here, which means 
either play Monica Chang or Good Workout. I kind of want to play a Good Workout to start pinging some damage. Yeah, okay, so what do we want to get into the encounter deck? Um, maybe a Monica Chang actually, in the digging deep. Yeah, just trying to figure some things out here. Um, before we do that, do I want to do... Use Diamondback. Yeah, before we do that, I'll use Diamondback, considering I know that this is um, going to be a um, Digging Deep, and that's going to let us... Do I want to get things back into my deck before then? Ugh, I really do. Um, let's not use Diamond back yet. I'll use a good workout. Deal four damage. And discard the top. Do I want additional damage? Yeah, that works out fine as well. Ugh, sorry y'all. I'm just lost right now. So I'm going to use Monica Chang and Digging Deep to play a good workout. Which is going to let me deal four damage. Um, to an enemy and discard the top card of my deck and then it's going to be the additional two and I think I'm going to take a damage for using that after you resolve the ability. Man, I feel like we're going to take a lot of damage if we're doing this. Yeah, we're ah, we're kind of in pain here. Um, I don't want to do any of this yet. Hold on a second. I know I want to get rid of Topaz, but Ultron, I might just save for a better day, cause like save for better things to happen. I mean, I'm just taking a beating here. Um, I don't want to use. Wait, one of these digging deeps should be on the bottom here. Um, so what I'm thinking through right now is that I don't want to like lose a ton of health by using this. I think I'm going to lose way too much if I'm using this ability. So I think I just kind of have to... I don't want to lose a ton of health, so I think I'm going to play it safer by... Attacking for two, and then just using Diamondback to attack for one, and that'll get rid of Topaz. Um, this is probably not discard end. I don't think I have it to exhaust anything. Yeah, no, okay, so that's fine. Exhaust myself, I mean. Okay, so now I'm going to flip down, because I can't use my stuff. Um, and so the first thing I can do is discard the right place, right time to get rid of the superpower feedback. That's a brutal card, really brutal. Okay, so I think I did that right. I don't, I think I'm at the right health and then I can take the Painted Lady to grab Luck Be A Lady and then um, I can discard an identity specific card Oof, which luck be a lady honestly might be help more helpful for us than a good workout and then I wanted to get down Monica Chang but I don't know if we're going to be able to so I'm going to discard a good workout I guess to get rid of drawing near we definitely need to get rid of that um ba -ba -ba. I can use, yeah, no, this is fine. I can use these three cards to play Monica Chang and she can go grab our surveillance team. Um, ba -ba -ba. There we go. And then I'm gonna use Pip the Pug to exhaust and get one domino or posse card on top of her deck. I think I'm just gonna grab Luck Be A Lady. Um, 
because that's going to help us with threat and healing and some attack at least. Um, so that's Pip the Pug. Um, surveillance team comes out. We can put um, three, four. I think, I don't know if I've been forgetting to use Painted Lady to put cards back into it, but that's okay. We're going to use one of the surveillance teams and exhaust it to use... Um, what do we want to get rid of? Uh, probably under attack first. One, two. Okay. Whew. So I am just layers of confusion here. We're going to use Monica Chang to thwart one more off of um, under attack. And then we're going to ready everything up. Okay. And then we get to draw our two cards which is Digging Deep and Luck Be a Lady. We get an extra encounter card. We're gonna shuffle everything up. Okay, so now, hopefully, and hopefully Topaz doesn't come out again or Pursued by the Past. That is an entire turn killer for us if we're not already in Alter Ego. So, um, we're gonna draw four more cards. Diamondback, Under Surveillance, Upside the head, one, two, three, four, five, and power of justice. Okay, so might actually throw in an under surveillance up there. Yeah, so we are doing okay here. We're gonna go over to Ultron. He goes to scheme, but he's confused. And then we're gonna get our, we need to put one onto assault on NORAD and then do I want to let it? Yeah, I'll let it go. I don't want any more drones, so we're going to let it go up to 6 out of 10. And hope he doesn't scheme from this, but we'll see. So Ultron, he's going to get two encounter cards here. One of them is Advanced Ultron Drone. We're okay with that. And then... So we get our obligation. Um, let's see. Give to the Nema Thurman player. Okay, so we're just going to have to exhaust to get rid of this. Um, so this blanks out our text boxes and that comes back to us which is okay we're going to have to exhaust to get rid of our obligation which is fine um, I think I'm going to use a power of justice to get the under surveillance up here ba -ba -ba. then we can use a surveillance team one two so now this pops at 14 instead. We're going to get rid of our under attack. And then um, what all can we do here? Oh, I guess I still have this that I could I probably potentially could have gotten rid of with my last turn. Um, I just kind of keep forgetting about that. What can we do? OK, so I can't use Pip the Pug. I might as well use Painted Lady to get an extra resource into my hand with the posse here. And then we can flip up. And now, what all can we do? We wanna get rid of, um, we wanna get rid of the advanced Ultron drone. Um, we can use our action to switch digging deep into the top part of our deck. Okay, a good workout is good. Um, he has, this is gonna have five health on him, which, hmm. So Advanced Ultron Drone is gonna have five health on him. If we hit Domino's Pistol twice, and then we use Monica Chan to take him out. Or we can use Diamondback, actually. Oof, I want to use Luck Be a Lady. Diamondback wouldn't let us... Uh, we can't use Upside the Head while we're exhausted anyway. One, two... I'm just trying to think here what we can do. Um, 
yeah, I want to get diamond back down. I'm going to use upside the head in a good workout instead. I don't know if this is the right move, but we're going to get diamond back down and then we're going to exhaust her and deal damage to discard and we discard a digging deep, which comes back into our hand. And then that's going to deal two damage to each enemy. So um, Ultron goes down to 21. Deal one damage to each enemy, yeah, yeah. And so this takes two. So I think he has three health left. Now we can't do any more manipulation here. So I think we're just gonna kind of have to hope that one of these double pistols is a wild. So we're gonna double pistol the advanced Ultron drone. Which is just a sonic rifle, so it's gonna he's gonna go to three. And then domino pistol. We want to do it again. We'll hit him again. Why not? Sweet. So it's a power of justice, which is a wild. That's going to take out the advanced Ultron drone. When that happens, another drone comes out, which is annoying, but that's fine. Because um, he had guard regardless, so we can have attacked Ultron. Um, what can we do? The only other thing we can do is play our luck be a lady here. <coughs> oh, but we don't have. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking with having luck be a lady. I mean, it's an okay card, but. I think I would rather, honestly. I don't know what's on top of the deck, so luck be a lady isn't doing that much stuff for us. I could just play the posse, honestly. Um, heal one damage from spawn. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually fine. Instead, um, I'm going to use the posse where I get to control, play only if you control at least three characters. I have only two characters with posse trade, so I can't do that. Ugh, this is just gross right now. Um, so I don't even know, I don't know what to do. Um, uh, I think that power of justice when it was discarded, I'm gonna take that and put it under Painted Lady, sorry about that. And then I might as well use Digging Deep to play Luck Be A Lady. Or I can hang on to Dick and Deep because I can get it back. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna use the posse, I suppose. We're using Dick and Deep, who knows? Maybe I'll hang on to the posse and something fun will happen. Um, luck be a lady. We're gonna discard the top card of our deck and count the resources on it. It is a mental, so we get to remove two threat from a scheme, that's fine. And then Coulson, I think we are also going to put under the painted lady here. So we just have a backlog of cards to actually use. Um, okay, so we get to remove two threat from a scheme. Uh, I think we will be safe and remove it from the um, main here. And then Monica Chang can hang out and she can take a hit for us. I think that's what we're going to do. Surveillance team was exhausted, I think. Okay, so we're gonna ready everything up here. Okay, we're trying to get there. He's down to 21 health. We would love to make a push, but let's see. Jackpot definitely helps. One, two, three, four more cards. One, two, three, four. Okay, we might be able to make something happen next turn. We'll see. Um, so it's gonna go over. We're gonna add three more to let this go up to um, seven, uh, right? Yeah, six, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're having this as seven out of 14 here. Ultron's gonna attack. Monica Chang is going to take this attack. He's attacking for um, four, five, or wait, I don't think he, 
Okay, so he doesn't get plus one either way. Um, but Ultron cannot take damage while Drone Minion is in play. Uh, I don't know if we've done that yet, but... Anyway, good to know that he can't take damage if a Drone Minion is in play. So, drones have guard. Um, swarm attack, each drone minion. This is his attack. He's attacking for four, five against Monica Chang. Goodbye. And then now we get our encounter card, and it's going to. When he. Geesh, we don't get our encounter card. Sorry. When he attacks. No. When he attacks, we don't. Each drone minion gets plus one attack. Each. Oh, okay, so he stops putting these in play with us. I think I forgot about that. Oh, man. Okay. So, yeah, this has been a messy playthrough, I guess. Um, I don't know if I've had the chance to do that yet while he's been on this side. But he doesn't put drones into play anymore. Okay. I think that's confusing me right now. Okay, cool. After face down drone, you play. Okay. Aye, aye, aye. His third form here has a lot of stuff that I'm forgetting about. So, he attacked Monica Chang. This drone minions, uh, minion is going to attack us for two. We're down to four health, which is not great. And he gets his encounter card, which is going to be Android Efficiency. Each player puts the top card as a drone minion. Okay, so we have drone minions. More drone minions. That's fine. Comes back to us. Um... One, two, three, four, five. So we want to play Hope Summers, but I don't think. Oh, I need more resources, really, is what I need. Um, oh, wait, perfect. Okay, so I can play Jackpot. Diamondback's readied right now. I can play jackpot and float like a butterfly to play Hope Summers. Okay, so this can be a good turn. Um, she comes in, she gains each trait, so she is a posse member. Um, we love that about Hope Summers. She's a posse member. After you play Hope Summers from her hand, search your deck for a superpower card and add it to our hand. So now we get to go find a superpower card Hopefully one is in here. Okay, right place, right time, that's fine. Um, so we go get a superpower card and add it to our hand. Ah, whoops. So we're gonna shuffle X-Gene back into here too. Okay, cool. Um, this comes back into our hand. Now, what we can do is we can use our two pistols against the drone minions here. I think that might make sense. So we're gonna use one drone minion, or sorry, one Domino's pistol. We're gonna discard a wild, so it does two. Perfect. Right place, right time. And then actually, oh geez, that was, that was risky of me. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to use my action to grab a card and put down right place right time because now what I can do is use my second pistol against this drone minion and take that out because it's going to be for two and that was sharpshooter so now Ultron is vulnerable to damage um, so I can attack him with my um, action here So we're going to attack for two and then use our probability field, which doesn't exhaust, got to remember that, um, to do two plus three, four damage. Outlaw is going to come and hang out in the Painted Lady, which is full. Um, so that is two, three, four damage. So he's going to go down to um, 17 health. So Ultron goes down to 17 health here. And then 
Um, so Hope Summers can, do we want her thwarting for two potentially? Player. We're not, that's not terrible. Um, 17. I think we're okay actually. Um, Yeah, we're just gonna start trying to rush him down. So Hope Summer is gonna attack for two, down to 15. Um, and now I can play, or I could just straight up play a good workout, which would deal four, five, six, but nah, nah, nah. We'll see what we do. We, we gotta play the posse, so I'm gonna play the posse. Um, Hope Summers would have taken a damage. But when I do this, now I have three posse characters. I can heal one damage from each of them and ready them. So I go up to five, Hope heals, Diamondback heals, and then they all ready, the two of them ready. And so now we can do more stuff, which we're definitely not mad about. Um, so we will uh, attack with ours and use probability field for two, three, so he goes from 15 down to 12. Hope Summers is gonna attack for two, take a damage. Um, he goes down to 10. And then Diamondback is gonna do her thing where she, um, yeah, we might as well. Yeah, we might as well. Um, she's gonna take her damage and exhaust. And then we're gonna see, hopefully this is a, Oh, a digging deep, even better. So two damage, so he's down to eight health. So we're really just gonna be rushing him down here, um, which is fine for us. So with the digging deep, um, honestly, I think I'm gonna pitch it. It would be potentially handy, but now nah, we're gonna pitch it. I wanna see, I wanna try to get some attack cards here. So we're going to ready everything up. Um, Ooh, surveillance team can ping one off the main, just in case. And now we're gonna ready everything. Um, probability fields, all oh, those pain ladies. We're gonna stay up right now, because we want him to attack. We'll just have someone take it and then see what we can do. So I'm gonna draw five cards. One, two, three, four, and five, so not much of what we would really want, but that's okay. Um, all we need to do is eight damage and we can do that. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna add three to let this go up to nine out of 14. Ultron's gonna attack and um, we're gonna have Diamondback, I guess just in case a drone comes out. Yeah, we'll have Hope Summers take it. Um, We'll see, we'll have Hope Summers take it. And then, so he's attacking for four, five. Um, Hope Summers is gonna go away, which kind of hurts. I probably should've got rid of Diamond back instead, but I don't know, I like her ability. And then we get our encounter card. And so this could potentially be it. Um, it's, oh no, after the villain takes damage, give it a tough status card, oof. Wow, okay, so he gets Vibranium Armor. Um, that sucks. Okay, so he's getting Vibranium Armor where after he takes damage, he gets a tough status card. Exhaust our hero, spend. Oof, can we still deal eight damage to him if we're exhausted? Well, we might be here an extra turn, unfortunately because that real, it's super lame. Man, Vibranium Armor saved his butt. Okay, so I think we have to use our Digging Deep. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to use our Digging Deep and our Concussive Blow and then exhaust our hero. Or let's see, how much damage can we deal with him? Let's see, because I could 
attack him, ping off a tough. I deal four damage to him. Diving back, pings off the tough. Oh, I don't think we can kill him this turn. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way that we could take him out. Um, <laughs> I think maybe we'd just deal with vibranium armor. Because it's. We might just deal with Vibranium Armor, actually. Uh, it's tough to say, but let's see. So I'm going to use my action, though, to switch um, this card with Digging Deep. You reveal an encounter card. Yeah, I definitely wish we had Lucky Break in previously. Um, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I guess we can... Use a double pistol. Yeah, so we'll attack for two and then use probability field, get this back in her hand, um, but that does four damage. So he's down to four health, but then after he takes damage, we have to give him a tough status card. Um, Diamondback. Can go ahead and swing for one, I suppose. Go, she goes away. Um, his tough goes off. We can. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. We'll use our pistol. Hopefully, deal two damage. Oh, we just deal one damage. That's tough. So he goes down to three. And then. Um, he gets a, his tough back. And then I could potentially. Oh, wait, no, we can win here. He only has three health. We can do a concussive blast. We can do a concussive blast to kill him. So we can use our next pistol, whatever this is. It's going to be White Fox who comes into play, which is awesome. Loses his tough. And then we have a concussive blow, so we can do one, two, and three, whatever. It doesn't matter what resources. We're going to confuse him. Oh, it doesn't matter what resources. But we're able to pay with a fist um, via the wilds. And we can confuse him and then deal three damage to him, which takes him down to zero. And that is Ultron on Expert. That was um, a lot of thinking, a lot of crazy um, stuff going on this game. Um, Thank you for tuning in. I know that was a long one. Um, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and, um, and we'll strive to get better at the game and better at decision making here. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye.